Hello and welcome to this introduction to the making sense of mathematics materials for GCSEs teaching from 2010, mainly for the pilot GCSEs in applications of mathematics and methods in mathematics, but these resources are also suitable for single GCSE. First of all, I just want to give you some of the ideas behind the resources. They're based on a system of mathematics education called realistic mathematics education which has been well researched particularly in Holland but also used in other countries and as you might guess from the title realistic situations are used to develop maths. There isn't an emphasis on algorithms and learning methods the emphasis is on students making sense through guided reinvention and that doesn't mean that they discover the maths for themselves. It means that you as the teacher guide them by using the materials and so it's important that you understand where the materials are going and how they're going to get there which is why we've put these videos together to help you to see where these resources are heading. Most maths materials use context and often that may be used to motivate students at the start of a topic or to introduce some more difficult problems towards the end of a topic or to show students places where maths might be used in real life. Now in these resources context is used in a slightly different way to help pupils make sense of the topic and so that they can see that maths is close to the reality that they understand. Now that reality may be things that they do in their everyday lives, it may be things that are familiar to them from television or whatever, but the context is a source of the maths rather than a place for the mathematics to happen. It, the context helped the students get into the maths and so the students do need to engage with the context and to move between the context and the maths that they're doing so that they can see that it makes sense to do the problems in the particular way in which they're doing them. Now they may well start using very informal methods to solve problems and you may well want them to get onto more formal and efficient methods. Now in order to do that these resources provide students with models to help them progress in their understanding and these models come out of the context and you'll see some practical examples of the way in which that happens in the next sections of the video as you're talked through particular chapters of the resources. Here is some cool things and same as before I give you a bit of time to have a look at it. There's some cool things. Cool game. What is so, Duncan, in 15 seconds I'm going to ask you what you think this is all about. Okay, so now I'm going to think about this. Um, so, Duncan, you have 15 seconds and a few cute clues from people. What, what, what's going on? Something to do with the olden days. Yeah. Like what? What, what, what makes you think this is to do with the olden days? I'm going to have to get a pool ball or something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Go on, what makes you think this is to do with the olden days? Okay, just a feeling again. Yeah. An old day five. Okay? Fair enough, mate. It's an old paper, an old bike. Yeah? Anything, anything else old you see there? That's not a bike. Uh, Alright, John's just coming through. Look, look, John, so on the ball. What's this, John? Different things, good. You see some different things inside the book. Uh, don't consider it's like the olden days. Uh, Nathan saw an old newspaper, John, and a bike. It's a car, Nathan saw a bike. Uh, what, what else do you see, John? A CD player. <laughs> there, yeah? Anything else? Okay, well, let's say we know that this is a, a newspaper. This is a bike, or maybe a car. That's a CD player, George. What's, what's, what did you say, John? Yeah. To do with the first of things, isn't it? You said that, yeah, you didn't have your hand up. Yeah. What's the tiger thing? What's the tiger thing? Look, well, let's see what we know is. That's a car, I think, right? Uh, that's uh, the, the first man on the moon, and it's like you said, newspaper that no 
that's a stable balance like that one is a CD that's the world's first CD player. So we don't know what these three things are. I do. That's a key. That's a key. Uh, this is how you can find the scale. That thing there, it looks like a set of scales, doesn't it? That's interesting, because it's not, but it's interesting enough what it looks like, so a lot of people think. Um, what's this one, Joe? Telephone. Yeah? Or it comes out of there. Yeah, this, it's not really a speaker, this thing. You still speak like this. This is just what you have to carry with you. Carry it out. That's the world's first mobile phone. No mobile phone. It's the world's first mobile phone. So obviously you need like a wheelbarrow to bring the receiver around and then this bit here. So that's the world's first mobile phone, the world's first car, the world's first man the world's first CD player. What are these two? Exactly. But not quite. You look at this one, I think. VCR. If it's in blue, if you look on here, you might not see it. It's the world's first VCR, or video cassette recorder. Now, that's so old school, you probably haven't got any in your house anymore. But then we've just got this one left that looks like scales. Have you cleared every single one of you's got one of these? Probably lots of them you've got in your pockets right now, but it's not obviously a mobile phone. Are there a free player? Calculators. If anyone in this room got a calculator, that's a good idea. What the hell? What the hell? It is an MP3 player, that's the world's first MP3 player. No, I think it's meant to be in a pocket, like a gold wall, but it's still a big pocket. Yeah? Okay, so uh, there they are, those things, and under the green boxes are the dates of that, that which they happen. Okay? Uh, somebody called this thing before a timeline. I guess you could have said it was a number line or a timeline or whatever else. But I'd like to see just how in tune you are with the recent and distant past. Because in your books, I want to draw, I want to draw a timeline exactly. showing where these things occurred in your idea. This is a guess at the moment, okay? If you want to try the date, you can do, Joe. You're going to get the dates in a minute. Maybe just go for all those up to you. But quick go at drawing a timeline for when these cool things happen. Alright, now, a couple of people want the dates and they want to get something wrong. I like that, I guess. But uh, let's see if somebody doesn't mind getting wrong. Let's start borrow some on the book and see what they've gone for on these. Okay, so we've got our history expert over here. Is that Res? Yeah. Here's what Callum's gone for. For the order these things happen on. Now, Callum, have you thought about how they're spaced out, or have you just gone for a doctor? Just gone for it. So it's all just good, Callum. Oh, shit. I've got the car going first. And then, yeah. Not as good as well. Not very low bar to the front, yeah. And then the bar Okay, what made you think over that order, Cal? What was it about the pictures or the things themselves? Uh, I just thought, yes, I just thought, yeah, just be taking the CD. Okay. This word like that. Okay, some logic, which sounds good. If you can also argue a little bit in your head what looks really old and what looks less, less different. Uh, you've got the same order as uh, Cal. Yeah. You've got car, mobile, moon, video, CD, MP3. Okay, a few people did. You've got something slightly different. I'd like to argue that maybe Callum's wrong, or you're going to argue yourself to be wrong. Um, Jason, what did you do? Same. You put the telephone first. So you want this phone to be down here somewhere. Okay, anyone else got a different change and they think they should probably work? You went the car, man on the moon, and then telephone. And then the rest of the same. You? Anyone else? Man on the moon? We borrowed a mobile phone? Gosh, crazy talk. Crazy. Lewis? So you want those two swapped effectively, Lewis, yeah? Uh, car, mobile phone, video, then man on the moon. Because the same thing, you can't. Video, what, man on the moon? Okay, um, well let's do the real dates, and this time I'm going to ask you to draw the line out properly, and maybe you could think a bit about spacing. You, I don't want people counting squares too much, don't know how to do but just uh, can you go out spacing these out right? So here are the answers if you want, so desperate. Yes, I've got my right. I haven't seen one yet. Okay. There are the right answers. Could you draw another timeline, number line, call it what you like, that shows where these things should have been? And do something here about spacing, but don't be counting the squares and taking too long. Okay, so just like we had before, we had a name and a number, effectively. I show and her number. There were two bits of information on this line the, the item, whatever it was, and 
the date of the year. Harry, you done? Good. Uh, let's give people 30 seconds or so to try and keep up with Harry. Harry's eight. Here's the race. Well, it's not that way. But good things about it, it's got information, it's nice and neat. Where's the watch, well? It's not in the wrong way. It's not good where it starts and finishes. Oh, it's not good where it starts and finishes. Oh, it's Does it matter where it starts and finishes? Yeah. Now you shook your head, quietly let me know that you thought no. You said yes, but noisy let me know that you thought it did matter. Why does it matter, Joel? And it doesn't say where it starts and finishes, there's no zero. Where does zero do where it starts? Okay, so I think you can work out what it means, but Joel, you're not happy with that way it looks. Anyone else do it that way around? Anyone else do it with uh, the past on this side, if you like? The... Okay, you're unique in that way. I don't think it's necessarily wrong, I think it's worth talking about. You've done the same, you were wrong as well. It's not wrong, is it? Yeah, you did the same way, didn't you? Okay, um, maybe it matters, maybe it doesn't. I suppose if it matters to you, then do it the way you think it's right. Very hey, flexible and do it the way that's great. Right. Yeah. Uh, similar question to the one before. How many years passed between the first car and the first MP3 player? Do something on your picture to try and show it. Like we talked before about how Carl and Mel worked it out. How many years have pa- had passed between the first car being created and the first MP3 player being created? If you could, try and do something on your lines to solve, to try and show this. How long passed between the first car and the first MP3 player? <laughs>